They have just issued a tornado warning for that cell in Atchison County, Missouri, still moving to the east at about 10 miles per hour. This is now part of the reason why we're staying up with this and we're probably going to stay with the six o'clock newscast because right now Nick Bender's got the best position. And he's been relaying some of his reports to the National Weather Service, which is probably why they pulled the trigger on this new tornado warning. As you're seeing until seven o'clock, as Neville is telling me, until seven o'clock, there is at least indication that it is getting a little more organized. Let me throw it out to Nick right now. Nick. All right, Brian, sorry, I'm just relaying reports here from the National Weather Service, and that is my wireless emergency alerts going off on my smartphone, so I need to turn that off. Uh, that's for Atchison County, Missouri. Uh, you're looking back to the west. We're in Rockport, and that is a wall cloud, so that is going to be a rain-free base where the air is rising up into the thunderstorm, and then you can see it's called, a, almost looks like a beaver tail, that little tail piece that's coming out of the right side of the screen there that's coming into the storm. That's inflow going into that wall cloud. You can actually see on the right side of that base looks like a box that's put on the bottom of that wall cloud. Uh, what looks to be maybe the development of a funnel, but I, I can't call that because it's, it's too far out. But if a tornado does drop out of that storm, Brian, it's going to come from that wall cloud. I need to get a little bit closer and get a better vantage point. I'm going to throw it back to you so that you can put a, some times of arrival on there with the storm track. All right, thank you there. So once again, this is now a tornado warning as I'm going to step in front of the wall itself. And tornado warning that is out for Atchison County, Missouri, in extreme northwestern corner of the state of Missouri. And that is until 7 o'clock, as Nick is talking about. It is getting a little more organized. He's still far enough away, and that's a good thing in that, once again, we don't want him to get very close to it and too close for comfort. So this is now that cell, and that was the one that we were looking at more than anything else that was going to be the one that was probably going to be the bigger picture. The farther south and west you go, the more likely it's going to be just severe thunderstorm warnings. But still, right now, I saw... It was a two and a half inch diameter hail. So that's one of the things that's also the calling card of this one cell. Still moving, I mean, slowly to the east and northeast at only about 10 to 15 miles an hour. And this is now, as Nick mentioned, to the north and west of Rockport. It looks like if it holds in that same configuration, it will miss Tarkio. But this is why this warning, although it's not covering that much real estate to the east and northeast, is out there until seven o'clock tonight for this cell. And one of the other things we're going to do, and of course, Neville's also in the First Alert Weather Center. I just want to see exactly the hail size for just one second and also the rotation. If we can strip away that. It is now about what? Moving to the east and northeast at 20 miles an hour. That's what you're putting there. And as you notice, it's on the rural portions of that county, but still there's some farmland that's up there. So we're going to tell those folks who are in the extreme northern portion of Atchison County, Missouri, to definitely take cover for this particular cell that is showing at least at some time it did have at least a touchdown at one time it still has a mature hail signature as well but this is seems to be the only one that we have right now that has prompted the weather service from either side of the state line that's going to be issuing that tornado warning what did uh, the uh, the shear rate i was just curious about that if that was just going to see that that's just going to show us rotation and it's showing uh, at least moderate to weak rotation here as it's moving to the north and northeast at 15 miles an hour. Nick is now very close to Rockport, so he's within this tornado worn cell. There you saw it a little earlier and it's still moving toward that one county that is under the warning. And it's going to stay in effect for another 40 or 45 more minutes. So we're definitely going to gather some information in here, toss it back out to Nick for more information. But best advice, because it is moving slowly, you have plenty of time to get to your safe area. Tornado warning out for, that would be the northwestern corner of Missouri, specifically for Atchison County, Missouri. Nick, let me go back to you before we throw it back to, back to a regular programming and the rest of our KNBC 9 News at 6. Go ahead. You hear the sirens going off. Go ahead, Nick. You do. You hear the uh, the outdoor warning sirens going off here in Rockport. We're in Rockport. We're looking west on 136 Highway at the wall cloud. It's a ragged wall cloud. It looks like it's still uh, fairly high above the ground. So I would say right now a tornado uh, is not imminent, but there's enough rotation within that supercell to prompt that tornado warning to create that wall cloud. What we would look for next would be a funnel cloud and then 
the tornado, but because of the tornado warning and the conditions that are in place ahead of this supercell, you need to take your tornado precautions here, especially if you live north of Rockport up in Watson. It looks like this supercell is lifting more north of, of Rockport, but let's err on the side of caution, make the decision of least regret. If you're in Rockport, let's take our tornado precautions, and especially if you are north of Rockport along Interstate 29, if you are anywhere near Watson, Missouri, you need to be in your tornado shelter right now, along with the potential of a tornado, tennis ball size hail, which is a big time threat. Uh, so if you do have a, a garage or covered parking and you got your vehicle there, I would suggest getting it underneath something here as this supercell comes in. Brian, we'll send it back to you. Yeah, and again, because it is moving so slowly, that's another reason that we say go to your precaution area and stay in it until 7 o'clock tonight. There's his current position near Rockport. There's the signature that we're looking at, and what Neville is doing is actually drawing the couplet that we always talk about. It is still hanging back into Nebraska, but it's about to cross over the Missouri River and head into the rural portion of Atchison County, Missouri. And it is this is the only cell that is at least indicative of a tornado warning. And I've seen tennis ball size hail an estimate from this cell. That's once again primarily the only one of this line and we're still under don't forget a severe thunderstorm watch until 11 o'clock. We're going to continue to gather information. Neville, do you have anything to add? If not, we're going to probably go on with the rest of the newscast if we can. Since it is, once again, going until 7 o'clock, new information is coming in. Nick is in the perfect position. If it does drop down even farther, we'll get back to that.